Well, congratulations. A sweep for the first time this year. How does it feel? How does the team feel after this weekend? Uh, you know, just good for the guys. I think we found a different way to win. Um, I thought we stuck together. There were some probably thin moments of, of the game, and there were some, some things we did well. So uh, a little bit of bend, don't break. I don't know if – I know they put some volume there. I don't know if they were really threatening. And great for Trace to stand tall. It's a meaningful time of the year to be playing well and going into conference play. Yeah, you got timely saves when you needed it, but overall were you pretty happy with the defensive effort of the entire team? Yeah, I mean, uh, they can really skate and they can really penetrate. So I, I thought we kept a lot of things to the outside. Um, there's some things we got to shore up, but at the same time, uh, we we found it just it, finding a different way to win is really important. And leaning on different people at different times of game is really important. And the guys all had a big hand in this. Brian Krabis last night said that he feels you guys do your best when you play a simple game. Would you feel you did that tonight? I could think of a more simple game to play than some of the. It's just, it, he is correct. He's like when we're we're more managing pucks and managing just the way we go about our business, our line changes. We we can be sharper, um, but at the same time, it, it's a start to what we want to become. And then, can you talk a little about um, tonight's game in comparison to last night? What do you think was the strengths, weaknesses? Well, I, it's a they're, they're a good team. I, it wasn't going to be easy. I thought we just kind of wore into the game, and um, the strength that you start to play a common opponent, you play them night in, night out. So all of a sudden, they're missing Lucky seventy one, maybe their best forward. Um, Erdahl had a great weekend against us, so we had to we had to get a little more eyes on who was going to threaten us and check us. So there's maybe a little more into that. That's why I think. Maybe it was a stale game there for a while, but there was a lot going on. Just no one was letting the other team get an inch. Um, you guys also killed off multiple penalties tonight. Um, can you talk about the team's defensive game some more? Yeah, I, it's nice when you can kill them off two minutes at a time instead of more than that. That that helps. Um, you know what? Your backbone is your goaltender in, in penalty killing. I thought we did a good job of keeping some things the outside. I know they they – put some pucks through, but I don't know how threatening they were, but just committed game. That was probably a defensive piece we had. Just with Tracy, I feel like when he's at his best, the, the key is the rebound control, and I just thought he looked so confident controlling those or, or getting them into into a safe places this whole weekend. Um, maybe speak a little bit on, on that area of his game and, and yeah, his play overall, I guess, this weekend. It, I thought it was huge. I, it, it makes him, when he was rebound control so good, he's a calmer goalie. Um, he's not racing to make the next big save type scenario. And um, I, I think it also settles our guys down, knowing that there's a great backstopper behind you. You just got to go do your job. And the more he keeps into him, um, sometimes it probably helps us slow the game down a little bit at times in, in a good way. So I, tr I thought Trace was very good. Is he a guy that you feel like is, is really getting into a rhythm right now? I mean, it, he's kind of owning the net, and uh, it, it just seems like he, he feels like a guy, even when he comes in here and talks, he just feels comfortable. He's just growing up a lot, I think. you know, And, and I think he knows the the position, and I think he knows the the, the standard of it. Um, every piece of us wanted to play Paul tonight because Paul's is deserving. Like He's right on the brink of we got to get this kid some minutes and some games because he's done his work. and. But that rhythm piece was important to keep in mind, and um, I think it showed back up. Like, Tracy's just got a way of responding to a night before, and I thought he did a great job with that today. In terms of, of uh, holding on to a third-period lead, it's it's been, I think, tough at times, but to, to – you know, hold on to a one nothing lead here. Is this something do you think the guys can gain some confidence on, on that front from going forward? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think uh, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot in the third. I thought we had to kill some penalties, but we really got to that managing time. And actually, I would say the last 10 minutes of the period really pushed the pace and swayed the game our way in a lot of a lot of pieces. That pass was a pro level cross ice feed that he made. I, I didn't think he'd even try it, let alone complete it. But uh, that was some nice pass and set that up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, I'm just happy for the execution. To your point, and, and I think, you know, wisely to 
when you're a net front guy, oftentimes you're tied up with others and you, you don't get a loose stick and you can't find, but then we're able to find two seams, uh, the ash to carbs and the carbs to all the way through. So it, it was really important for the guys to, man, that was a big goal for us. Nice to get the power play going go there in that spot. Those guys, I'm sure they're they're feeling the wrath of Luke, which is not always fun. But uh, they want you know what? When you start to fall behind in that category, you oftentimes squeeze your sticks and you don't make that play that they made tonight, and it just kind of shows the confidence of that that group to continue to make a play. Um, in terms of the end of non-conference play now, uh, I don't know. You obviously want to win every game, but foot five and three, I think you're. Your pairwise is going to be in a really good spot after this. Are you happy with the body of work here through through four non conference weekends? Yeah, we're growing. Um, I, I, I thought there was we left the, some meat on the table. We did, and, and but that's an early time for us, and hopefully we can learn, and those can be lessons that we push forward with. Uh, we'll take the record. We want to keep moving forward. I think we're just at a point where we're, I don't. I don't selfishly. I don't believe this group will be beat we just can't shoot ourselves in the foot that would be the that's going to be a loss so if we keep moving forward uh, i don't i don't know they do so many cool things together